This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question is asking us which of the following orbital speeds is representative of a planet closest to the sun. So we've been given three observations from the famous astronomer Johannes Kepler. So we want to look at which observation is going to talk about distance. And this passage is a little confusing because even just skimming it, we see that there are no numbers. So we're going to have to make inferences based on certain facts. So we're going to find something about orbital speeds in Kepler's second observation. And Kepler's second observation is going to talk about how a planet, the rotating vector of a planet, moves around its orbit, which is it's a really confusing um, observation, but we're going to find our answer here. Uh, so the kicker sentence that we're going to look for, it tells us that as the position vector decreases in length, the planet's orbital speed increases and vice versa. So the position vector is telling us the distance uh, between the, um, the planet and some sort of center of mass or the sun. So we're going to assume that these are measures of position vectors. And if we make that assumption, we can use the relationship underlined at the end of the second observation to make an inference. So it tells us that as, um, as I'm going to say PV goes down, um, speed goes up. And these are actually um, orbital speeds. So never, never mind about that. So we want to be looking for something um, that shows us, so if the planet is closest to the sun, we'd want a position vector that's shorter because this measures, this is the measure of the distance between the earth and the sun. So we want to find something that has a high speed. So if we look at our choices, uh, choice number three, 35 kilometers per second, this is our highest speed. So we'd assume that at our highest speed, this position vector or distance is going to be lower. So this is going to be, so the other answers are not going to be good. So choice three is going to be our answer. So this was a little tough. We had to make an inference.